Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Burlington Buzz. I'm your host, Charlotte Hancox, and today we'll be talking about organizations that focus on menstrual health. One organization is the PAD Project. This is a nonprofit organization that strives to improve access to menstrual health care products while also addressing menstrual health education and stigma. At UVM, the initiative empowers students to make washable pads, which are sent to Kenya to support individuals who face limited access to essential hygiene. Reporter Claire attended a PAD project meeting, which is held in Lafayette Hall at UVM, to learn more and speak with some of their members. Awesome. Thank you so much, Charlotte. So like Charlotte said today, I was here with Pad Project, which is the club that I'm president of. And basically we sew pads for people in Kenya who do not have access to them. Um, in the past, the club has been a little unorganized. So this year it has been my mission to kind of rebuild and take it in a different direction. So um, today was a drive planning meeting. We're planning a drive that's going to be happening November 13th through November or through December 4th um, on UVM's campus. And we're going to be donating the period products that get donated to us to Spectrum Youth Services, and it's going to be really awesome. So today we did a poster making challenge for that event, and we just kind of talked and chatted. We made a list of where we're going to put all the donation boxes, and it was really awesome. I love being a part of Pad Project, and all the people are awesome. Hi, everyone. Today I'm here with Eliza. Hi, Eliza. Hi. And Eliza is in the lovely, lovely Pad Project and is in charge of sewing. So could you give a brief introduction to yourself and what you do at Pad Project? Okay, um, my name is Eliza, um, I'm a senior at UVM, um, and basically what I do at Pad Project um, so far is just teaching everyone how to sew and basic sewing skills so that we can actually create materials to um, give to the Pad Project, yes. I don't know, foundation, whatever yeah. it is, but yeah. Oh my gosh, so awesome. How long have you been in this club? Um, I joined last year which was really fun. Um, and now that Claire started to be president and Rebecca vice president, it's gotten like a lot, it's progressed a lot and I'm really excited for what we're gonna do this year. Awesome, and what's your favorite part about the club? Um, the community, everyone's awesome, we love each other, we're all fun. Yes. All right, well thank you so much, Eliza. We love Pad Project. Yeah, Pad Project. Thank you, Claire. Now reporter Kira will be speaking with two people who are working with POP or Periods Are Our Priority in Lusaka, Zambia right now. So the main goal of POP is to fight stigma and decrease inequity for girls in Zambia. Um, the specific stigma we're fighting is menstrual hygiene. There's a lot of myths. Um, it's looked down to have your period when really it's a normal part of life. It's a biological process that every single woman has to deal with. So we're trying to normalize this idea of getting your period um, and having it by normalizing it and bringing that attention to everyone, giving them the knowledge of how to um, take care of their hygiene when they're on their period, giving them the knowledge of the biological process of your menstrual cycle. Um, we hope to decrease the stigma around it and improve school attendance for girls. Hi, my name is Jordan Remsen and I am the POP Vermont Coordinator and Social Media Editor. Great, right. thank you Jordan. What made you initially interested in POP? So my sister right now, is in Zambia, Lusaka, and she is working closely with the founder of POP. Um, and they are creating these reusable pads for girls in need and who have limited education on what exactly their period is. And I'm personally, I'm an elementary educator, so I am very interested in making sure everyone is aware of themselves, their mental health, their body, everything like that. So I think it just fits me well. Like I, I'm more excited to do it. It doesn't feel like a job or, you know, just a burden. It's something I'm actually happy to do. Awesome. Yeah. Why is it important, in your opinion, to spread awareness about periods and period inequality in general? So sometimes, I think it's hard because since we live in the states, we have a lot of resources. So we kind of have everything for like menstrual products very available to us, although they are definitely way too expensive. I will point that out. But still, I think that it's important to bring awareness to it because we have such easy access to it. We forget about 
the other communities or people that might not have such easy access to it. But yet again, it's also important to reflect on the inequalities in both of those aspects, such as maybe pads being too expensive for us or some people just not being able to have pads at all. So I think everyone should be aware of the differences in the world and just be able to have an understanding that not everybody's on the same level when it comes to issues that maybe we're around all the time, I don't know. How are you trying to spread this mission in Vermont then and this passion in Vermont? That's such a good question because it's growing slowly but it's growing. Um, my main job is social media and just by speaking about it and thankfully I think I surround myself with enough people that actually care about the world and everything that's going on around them so if I talk to them I'm like hey I'm doing this thing called PAW they're instantly interested and they're instantly talking about it like with everyone else around them so I know I'm getting it out that way but also with social media that's like our main form of communication nowadays which is interesting but still and we've been able to reach a pretty decent amount of people through our Instagram so it's pretty much the main way yeah why is it important to spread it to other areas other than where it's taking place like in Africa I know you kind of already said this but maybe just a little bit more about like in general why is it important to spread it to areas that like don't have the same situation I would say yeah I just think again that we live in such a world where it's so important to know about everything whether it's a big thing that's going on or a small thing such as I would say pop doesn't necessarily concern everybody its mission exactly doesn't really concern everybody but it's still good to know that some people are a little bit less fortunate with some things than you are it's a great way of just opening yourself up to the world around you and then gaining a deeper knowledge and recognition of everything else. It's, I don't know, I think you should be curious about the world and if you weren't, like, we wouldn't do anything about it, so, yeah, we gotta, we gotta start spreading the word. I agree with that. I agree with that a lot. Um, and just kind of on the last point, is there anything you would want to say to viewers that are watching this about, like, how to donate, what they can do to help in this situation? Yeah, so the main way to stay informed about anything that has to do with POP or a way to help is through our Instagram. We're working on a website, but it's not quite out yet. But if you look up periods are our priority, you will find us on Instagram and there will be a GoFundMe link in the bio that you can use to donate. But again, we are setting up a website soon that hopefully you'll be able to donate through. So we'll keep you posted on that, but that's the best way to reach us. Yeah. Thank you, Jordan. Of course. <laughs> Thank you, Kira. Now reporters Kira and Maggie are on UVM campus talking about Halloween. Thanks, Charlotte. We're back on UVM campus with Cats on the Street, and today we're asking about the Halloween and fall season. What weekend do you think Halloween is going to be celebrated, or should be celebrated? The weekend before, weekend after? It's a very controversial topic right now. Uh, Halloween's on a Thursday this year, so definitely that Thursday through Sunday. See, that's Sunday. what you would think, but a lot of people, a lot of people, we'll take a poll after all this, but a lot of people are like questioning it. I've been hearing mixed things about this too. Okay. I feel like I think since Halloween is a Thursday, that it's that Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay. But I agree with that. people have been telling me different things. Yeah. So I don't really know. The weekend after. Okay. That's what we've been Last getting. Week. But it's but... on Thursday. So, right. So, like, Thursday why are we not? To Saturday is my day. Exactly. Personally, I think that it's. Af well, I think that it's going to be the weekend after, like Halloween is on a Thursday, yeah. so then it'll be that weekend. Yeah. That makes okay. most sense to me, because Halloween's on a Thursday. Backwards. Yeah, I know. Um, do you have any plans for Halloween and like what costumes you're going to be? Yeah, um, mostly just going downtown, uh, 21, so it's okay. Um, but yeah, I have a, have a few costumes planned. So, <laughs> what are they? <laughs> yeah. um, me and my girlfriend are going to be uh, John Travolta and Uma Thurman from uh, Pulp Fiction. Um, gonna, and uh, a couple of buddies of mine are being uh, different types of Sasquatches, so I'm very excited for that one. <laughs> what type of Sasquatch are you going to be? I'll be a Batman Sasquatch, Sasquatch for short. All right, yeah. all right. <laughs> so yeah, I'm yeah. going to be Dorothy, um, okay. and then I'm thinking Julie Roberts, um, Pretty Woman, and then maybe group costume, yeah. still in the works. How about you? Nice. What, you um, what am I doing? Oh, I'm doing full fiction. Hot, sexy, wonderful. You know, brilliant. you know. Yeah. I'm full fiction with my boyfriend. I'm doing um, Disney princesses. Like yeah, Cinderella. Yeah, Cinderella. 
And then my friends are still trying to figure out something. We went to like Alice in Wonderland, and I'm thinking. Queen oh my of god, Hearts. we were thinking Alice in Wonderland as that's well. That's a good idea. I'm I thinking like of it. being with the White Rabbit. Oh, that's I. We were thinking of that too. It was like Cheshire Cat, White Rabbit, Queen yeah. of Hearts, Alice. Thank you, thank you. you know. We're gonna be princesses. Bye. Yeah, it'd be really cool. <laughs> That's really all I have right now. Okay. I need to come up with some more. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I think that I'm gonna do um Katie from Mean Girls oh, because fun. I like get that I look like her sometimes. Yeah. So I think that will be fun. And then also maybe Alice in Wonderland as like a group costume with yeah, my friends. <laughs> yeah. And any other like fall plans that you have or like anything you're excited about for Burlington Fall? Um I don't know, I might go apple picking at some point. Uh, some hikes might hike Mansfield with the leaves leaves changing now. The leaf yep. beeper, so All right. that should be it. Yeah. Yes, um, I actually just went apple picking this past <gasps> Sunday. At Shelburne? No, we Where actually went to Chapin because Shelburne apparently oh. is out of apples, believe it or not. <laughs> believe it or okay. not, they're out of apples. <laughs> so we went to Chapin. Okay. Um, and I'm super excited because I think we have a little date planned. We're going to go mm -hmm. on a little... Chairlift. Chairlift, thank you. It's, yeah. it's still in the works, but yes, I think yes, that's on we'll my list. Um, yeah. That's my, those are things I'm looking forward to. Nice. I'm excited to go to some mountains and look at the leaves and yeah. maybe go apple picking. Yay. My favorite thing about fall is the leaves changing, especially here. It's so beautiful. And then also my friends and I have a tradition of uh, rewatching Harry Potter oh every year. So, that's so yeah, that's my favorite thing okay. about fall. Well, thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Coming up this week in Burlington, it's figure drawing at Karma Birdhouse Gallery on Tuesday. On Wednesday, it's trivia at the pub at Trivia Cider. And it's improv night at Vermont Comedy Club on Sunday. Next week, we'll be talking about post-election and how locals are feeling. Thank you for watching and see you next Monday.